Hi there everyone, Tom here from One Site Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration on how to enable Obix in Niagara 4. So before we start, let's just have a quick look at Obix the protocol itself. So Obix is an Oasis managed open standard. Open Building Inf Information Exchange is what it stands for. And the best way to think about Obix is like a early version of a modern RESTful JSON based API. Um, they st it still uses HTTP as its transport mechanism. However, it's XML based, a um, bit heavier and just, just a bit older. So just uh, before we before we jump into this, there's obviously been some significant changes for the better in favor of security in Niagara 4 since AX. Um, Obix itself in Niagara currently only supports HTTP basic authentication. So the first thing we need to do is open our palette and look for the Baja module here. And expand authentication schemes, expand web services schemes, and you'll see the HTTP basic scheme here. So we need to add that into our stations authentication schemes. So under in our station services, and authentication service, authentication schemes. If we just drag the HTTP basic scheme, that's in there. Next thing we must do is create a dedicated Obix user that's configured to use our HTTP basic authentication scheme. So I'm opening up the property sheet of the user service. You can see we've currently got our guests and admin users here. Let's go to the user manager. Add a user. And I'm going to call this Obix user. So this will be the user account that you have to configure in any Obix client applications. Um, a popular energy management AMT system is, is one that, that we like to use Obix with to connect to Niagara systems you'll be putting these user details into that as well as the address of this system. So down here where we've got the schemes, we select HTTP basic, set a password. And okay. So there's our Obix user configured with the HTTP basic scheme. The next thing we need to do Let's close down services and expand drivers. And in our palettes here, search for Obix and you'll see the Obix driver. So grab yourself an Obix network, drag it onto the drivers. Let's quick check of the property sheet, make sure it's enabled and it is. So at this point, your Niagara system is enabled and ready to receive Obix requests for data from, from Obix clients. Um, there's a just a couple of closing notes to add to this. Um, the most common and important one since Niagara 4 was released is that Obix doesn't work with HTTPS. That's a incorrect statement. And the reason for it is due to, due to the fact that Niagara ships a standard with a default self-signed certificate that it uses on the web server for HTTPS. Now, you'll know when you navigate to a Niagara station in the web browser that uses that default Trillium certificate, you get a you get a, a connection error that tells you that the certificate doesn't match or it's not trusted. Um, that's okay in a browser, effectively, because you can just click ignore. However, programmatically in systems that are using the Obix protocol um, over HTTP, there is no option for you to click ignore or a lot of client applications don't provide the button to ignore certificates and quite rightly so because certificates and HTTPS aims to provide a level of authentication and validity um, against what you're connecting to. Um, so. I can confirm that Obix in Niagara 4 does completely and fully support HTTPS if you're using a properly signed and trusted certificate, um, such as I am in this station. And uh, we can have a quick look at that here. And you see there, my, my web server 
is being as configured to use my test certificate here. Um, any systems that connect to this will trust that because that is a, a public domain name with a public certificate attached to it. So that's about all you need to do to configure Niagara 4 to receive requests for Obix data. I hope you found this video useful and um, please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you.